Well, let's talk tactics now and remind ourselves of why Turkey launched this operation and how it's impacting relations with the U.S. TRT World's defense analyst, Ubay Shabanda, joins me now in the studio. Turkey says it has two main objectives, secure its border and end oppression of the local population from the YPG. Obviously, the U.S. doesn't see it that way. Absolutely. I mean, let's look at the first objective. <clears throat> Turkey has national security concerns with the fact that the YPG has used Syria as a safe haven to launch cross-border attacks. We've seen multiple dozens of cross-border attacks from the Afrin area onto the Turkish, uh, Turkish territory where there have been casualties and uh, there's been destruction not only of... Uh, of military targets inside Turkey, but also of civilians. On the other hand, we're, we see that the United States believes that the YPG <clears throat> force that it is training and arming in eastern Syria is necessary to defeat Daesh and to prevent Daesh from re-emerging. Of course, the, the, the U.S. refers to the YPG as the Syrian Democratic Forces, um, they, and they've provided them a significant amount of arming and training. So it was interesting actually to hear over the weekend, uh, just yesterday, Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis, the Secretary of Defense of the, in the United States, mentioned, did tell reporters that he believes that Turkey does have legitimate national security concerns. And he did mention that Turkey is the only NATO ally that is facing an active insurgency inside of, inside of its own territory. So there was a level of recognition by the U.S. Secretary of Defense of Turkey's national security concerns that led to Operation Olive Branch. And that is something that should probably be mentioned in any discussion about this conflict, is that Turkey has faced an insurgency from the PKK within its own borders for 30, uh, 30 years, I believe, um, and tens of thousands of people have died as a result. But the U.S. doesn't think that the YPG is an offshoot of the PKK, and that is one of the big issues, isn't it? Well, it's a very big issue, so let's unpack it. We hear a great deal on how the YPG is the Syrian version of the PKK, and here's the reality. The reality is, is that senior commanders of the YPG on, on the battlefield, on the ground, both in Afrin and Aleppo and Raqqa and al Hasaka provinces in eastern Syria were trained in the PKK mountain headquarters in Kandil in Iraq and were, and were also, some of whom were senior PKK commanders or actively operating against Turkey inside of Turkish territory. Commanders such as Paula John and Sipan Himo, these are YPG commanders, are essentially PKK operatives. So when we talk about the YPG as a Syrian version of the PKK, there's real actionable intelligence and evidence of PKK commanders essentially putting on a different patch, a different title, and referring to themselves as the YPG or as the Syrian Democratic Forces, but they're one and the same. Which actually brings us on to uh, the next point. I want to bring in now a uh, comment from the AK Party's or AK Party's Deputy Chairman, Mehdi Ekir, who says the Afrin operation is not against any ethnic group. Today, around 370,000 Kurds migrated from Syria to Turkey and we host them. So the aim of Republic of Turkey is not to fight against the Kurds, but to save the whole population living in that area, including the Kurds, because we do have our citizens I mean, of uh, ethnically, you know, Kurds. Uh, so we have no problem whatsoever with any ethnic identity, including Kurds or Arabs or Turkmenos or, or um, any other, you know, uh, ethnic origins. Uh, so it is just uh, a propaganda of terrorist organization, PKK, that we fight against the Kurds. It is not true uh, whatsoever, and uh, the, the aim is just to eliminate the elements of terrorist organization. So the AK Party's Midi Ekor there basically reiterating that this is not about uh, a war against an ethnic group, this is about taking on the PKK terror group. Just finally, Ubay, while we've got you here, um, how do you think this is going to play out? We've only got 30 seconds, so very quickly. <laughs> this is going to be a steady and gradual operation. We're already seeing some important momentum being made by the Free Syrian Army on the ground in conjunction with Turkish Special Forces. Let's keep in mind this is difficult terrain. 
very heavily uh, densely populated. We've seen that Turkish uh, leadership and Turkish forces say they want to avoid civilian casualties as much as possible. So we're going to see a very steady progress in the days ahead, but it may be a difficult fight. Thank you for that.